Sid, thanks a lot for meeting me today. I just so appreciate it. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about the story of, of this helmet. In 1978, on October 15th, my aunt had a Star Wars party. She lived in a little village called Everdon by, sort of by Daventry, by Milton Keynes, kind of that area. And um, I don't really know much about it. It was, a, it was a, an event that was raising some money, I think, for a children's charity. She was very horsey, and she had this Star Wars party. I don't know how it happened, but literally the cast and the crew of Star Wars were there, and uh, there was this big event that happened. I have a lot of photos from that event, but uh, I don't have them Is this now. New Hope? They were this, is, new, this is A New Hope. A yes. New Hope, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was, it was 78, was just between the two movies. So um, Empire Strikes Back, they were talking came, about it. They hadn't started yeah, filming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I have no idea how this party happened. Everton is a very small town, village, really. And um, so recently, I, and my, my aunt was given this uh, uh, at the end of that party, sort of as a hostess gift or something. Mm -hmm. And, it, it, and it sat in her laundry room for 30 years. That is amazing. Until she gave it to me, and it's been in my laundry room for 10 years. But it's a wonder she, it's a wonder she kept it, though, John. It is it? a wonder she kept it. I mean, why did she keep it's it? It's extraordinary. Did, was she fond of it? or There was something special about it. Um, and I, she, she had know, an she, instinct about she, it, I think. She had an instinct. Maybe it was just a little bit out of her world, yeah, and so yeah, she yeah. sort of enjoyed it. Yeah. I, want, I want to just mention one more thing about the helmet here. Uh, one of the reasons that... Um, well, I, I guess I, I was trying to figure out how to authenticate the helmet. And so I had these photos from my aunt's party, et cetera, and so forth. And, and I was looking, I actually considered, oh, may I, I can DNA test it because there's such sharp pieces of fiberglass in there. I know that your, your skin cells They're are still in there. They're going to know about me, aren't they? I, 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 can't, I can't hide anywhere. But ultimately what happened is uh, I contacted Brandon Ellinger, and yeah. he's with the prop store in Los Angeles. Yes, and I yes. talked to him about having this, and he said he'd like to see it. And what was interesting to me is that he could, he could take a photo of the front of this, and he could actually go back to the original film, and he can see, because these were all handmade, they're all just that, slightly yes, different, yes, yes, yes. and he could actually tell that, that where you appear because, oh. of, because the, of the slight paint chips, the slight cuts in the teeth. Oh, each, little... each helmet is completely different. And that's how the helmet was authenticated. It's extraordinary that you can amazing. pull it up in that detail. That, that's modern science, isn't that's it? That's right. And literally, the way the eyes are cut and the teeth are cut, each, each helmet is just a little bit different. See, this is missing. It should have one more cut here yeah, that's yeah. not there. So he was able Did to... Did it start off like that? Was it like yes. that at the beginning? Yes, yes. But each, each one was handmade. So even these little, they're little drips of paint, I think there's a big drip right here. There's, and that's how he authenticated it. He, it's that accurate on film. This is quite amazing, isn't it? So Sid, I know you've missed this uh, for 40 years. It made you world famous. Uh, and the good news is, if you'd like, you can buy this. This is coming up for auction. Uh, the auction's held at BFI uh, IMAX in London. It's September 30th, October 1st, and it's through the prop store. You can come and purchase the helmet and enjoy it for the rest of your life. <laughs> well, I wish I could. <laughs> And how much do you say it might be going for, <laughs> potential value? The pre-sale estimate is, I don't even know, sorry. It's uh, 120 to 180,000 pounds okay. is the estimate. 120 to 180,000 yeah. pounds. Well, if I work for a couple of weeks with you guys, maybe I can afford it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds okay.